Do you know what it was? That was a flick. Do you know who else likes to do flicks? Deli Ali. I was taking loads of flicks today because we was on fire. We've come here, Carroll Road, the Gerald Stand. All of our away fans were in unison, singing. It was like a symphony. It was like an orchestra. It was going off. We was making so much noise. In here, sounding like the Emirates. We had to spice it up and our players heard it. Deli Ali scoring after about two minutes. Sticking in the back of the net, a tap in. After the keeper parried it away, but Deli Ali was there with his brand new Ace Plus boots. Stuck it away 1-0. And then we just kept the momentum going. Pepper in their goal. Shots after shots. Not letting them get in on our goal. Hugo Lloris had nothing to do the first half. Kevin Vimmer stepped in. Had an amazing game, I think. I, I, we didn't even miss Jan Vertonghen. He's very similar to him, very composed. Next to Toby, they read each other's game well. Passed it at the back. We built from the back very well. Danny Rose looked good, came back in at left back. Right back, Carl Walker, solid as ever. But I have to say, for me, other than Harry Kane grabbing the brace, the man of the match was Moussa Dembele. This guy, I mean, even in the second half when it looked cagey, he was sure in it, winning balls, being solid. He's so agile. He knows how to turn and get out of situations. He's, his passing has developed. He's, his overall enthusiasm's just gone up like 10 pegs. Moussa Dembele, man of the match for me. Um, second goal was a penalty. Um, where I was in the away section, I can't actually remember who was brought down. Someone was brought down and Harry Kane stuck it away emphatically. I never doubted him for a second. I knew he was going to stick it away. Every time Harry Kane puts that ball on the spot, he kind of believes. He has a technique for striking the ball, sent the keeper the wrong way, stuck it in the corner and the net. 2-0, half time. I'm thinking second half, we can run away with this. Maybe 3-4 wasn't the case. Second half, Norwich really came at us. They pegged us back in our own half, made it very difficult. It was very cagey. Uh, we, we couldn't find passes. We couldn't string anything together. We couldn't find the width that we had in the first half. Norwich made it very difficult. They put on Cameron Jerome. He was a tiny bit of a problem. They were winning headers, playing long balls. We couldn't get our rhythm together. But then we found the third goal right at the end of the match. Harry Kane scored again. That's a brace for him. He's phenomenal. I, I think he scored something like 34 games and 47 appearances. They called him a one-season wonder, but what do these people know? I wonder what these people know. I mean, apparently everyone's a football pundit now, nowadays, but they can't spot talent and see when someone has something good, when they possess real ability. And Harry Kane's one of those players. Deli Ali on the score sheet again. What can I say? I can't complain. A clean sheet is what I was looking for. Now, let me tell you something. Goals win games, defence win championships. Let me say that again in case you didn't hear me. Goals win games, defences win championships. We've only conceded 19 goals. Last season, Chelsea conceded 32 goals. They won the league. If Leicester drops off, if we can keep clean sheets and keep it to 19, sorry, keep it below 30 goals, we can win the league. It's as simple as that. As long as you're scoring up the other end, which we're doing, the goal difference is telling its own story. I don't even need to speak about it. We can win the league. You just got to make sure you're not conceding goals and hope that Leicester fall off. Win the big games. Do what we need to do. It's good times here at Spurs. Very, very good times. We've got Watford next. It's not going to be easy. We played them at Vicarage Road. We grabbed a late winner. This time it's a White Hart Lane. I just pray the fans get behind the team. Give that support. Be the 12th man. And I'm, I'm in no doubt if they do that, that we're going to win that game. There's, so, there's goals all over the park. There's so much confidence in the side. Pochettino. Some people call Pochettino a coach. Some people even call him dad. I call him God at the synagogue. I worship to Pochettino. That man has a philosophy. And when you have a philosophy and your players believe in the philosophy, the possibilities are endless. And right now, the possibilities are endless at Spurs. Average age of about 23, youngest team in the league, best goal difference, best defence in the league. Talk to us. Leicester's the only one that's flying more. Did they make their signings? No. I think we're going to do well. Guys, this has been my match review. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought of the match. Follow us on Twitter at Spurred on TV. Follow me on Twitter at Craig at Smitch. Follow Spurs on Twitter. Why not? And keep it casual.